Good evening, guys. I just thought I'd put a video out and show my version of a Christmas egg bake. Uh, I'm up by myself watching the Vikings Packers game on the eve of Christmas Eve. It's just me and the pups. It's 954. We're gonna see if we can do this an hour or less from the beginning. So There's the pups. <laughs> okay, so. Step one, we'll preheat the oven. Step two, mix yourself a nice cocktail. Cause hey, it's 10 o'clock the eve before Christmas Eve. Jeez, you deserve it, right? I'm going with vodka and diet seven tonight. Ingredients are pretty simple. I've got a 16 ounce pack of Bob Evans original flavor sausage, 18 eggs, a pack of eight ounce pack of mushrooms, uh, uh, some butter to uh, grease the 9 by 13 Pyrex dish that we're going to bake it in. Um, we're going to use about a third of a sweet onion, an 8 ounce pack of sharp cheddar, and for seasonings we're just going to do salt, pepper, uh, some garlic powder, and a little bit of dry, dry mustard powder. Okay, I've got my skillet preheating for the sausage. We're going to crack the eggs real quick. And it's super important to make sure you wash your hands between the steps. You don't want to cross contaminate. So between each one of your steps, just wash your filthy hands, okay? Skillet's hot. We're gonna throw in the sausage now to brown. Sausage is gone. Cut this onion up real quick. I only need about a third of this. We have enough chopped up. The pan is hot on the oven. A little bit of olive oil. Onion in the hot pan. Mushrooms, these are really good just to add some texture and they actually take on Kind of a meaty flavor when you put them alongside of meat. So I'm gonna use most of this pack, maybe not the whole thing. Rough chop on them. These will soften as the egg bake cooks. So I don't need to cook them all the way down. I'm just gonna put them in with my onions until they get happy. Sausage is going. And now I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on these. Now, while the sausage is browning and the onions and mushrooms are just kind of um, reducing down and, and kind of partially cooking, I'm going to go ahead and whip my eggs. Now the reason that I did the mushrooms and onions off to the side is I'm going to go ahead and drain that sausage on. A, uh, or into a bowl with some paper towels and just kind of soak up some of that grease. And I thought that if I did the onions with it, I'd lose a lot of the onions onto the paper towels. So I'm just doing them separate. And I'll just fold them together as I make this. Okay, eggs are good. I can go ahead and season this now because everything just gets folded once I get to the point where I can put it together. So to this, I'm gonna add about about a teaspoon and a half of the dry mustard powder. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder, uh, maybe a half teaspoon of black pepper, and then just a little bit of ground salt into it. Stir that up. I need half my bag of cheese. The other half I'll use to top the casserole once it's uh, ready to be put in the oven. So half in now. There's that.
I don't want to get these onions and mushrooms too wet because the whole idea is to just kind of get them started. I really don't want to add a bunch of liquid onto the meat that I'm trying to drain the grease off of. So This just needs to be browned on the sausage and I'm just kind of chopping it up into little bite-sized chunks. That is almost ready. Cooking it to just past the pink. It'll finish in the oven. It's going to bake for a good 40 minutes, so I'm not worried about the sausage being undercooked. Just trying to brown it here. Sausage is brown. I'm going to drain that onto some paper towel and get some of the extra grease off. A couple sheets of paper towel into a bowl. Then all I'm going to do is just put it right into the bowl with paper towels to kind of drain off that extra grease. Onions and mushrooms are done. I'm gonna let everything cool just a little bit so I don't make scrambled eggs before I even bake this thing. I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit and then we'll fold it in. While everything's uh, cooling off on the stove top, I'm gonna go ahead and butter my nine by 13 Pyrex dish nap. I'm just gonna kind of grease the pan here. So make it a lot easier to take it out when I cut it up also. Pan is greased. Eggs are seasoned and whipped. Uh, cheese has already been added. Sausage is cooked. Mushrooms and onions are ready to be folded in. We're ready to assemble. Fold it together. Pour it in. Super, super easy. Top with the rest of the cheese. This could easily be done the night before or the morning of. It really doesn't take that long. It's excellent reheated. Um, a lot of times I'll cut it up into individual serving sizes and then we just reheat a piece as we want to eat it. But you could do it however you wanted to. And like I said, with something that only takes an hour to make, if you get up early enough, you could easily do it the morning of. Not sure if you can see what time it is, but it's 10.20. I'll turn this light off so maybe you can see that a little bit easier. 350 degrees. Set a 40 minute timer. Boom. Misha, can you speak for the camera? Mm -hmm. A little louder so they can hear you. Come on, you wanna be on the, you wanna be on the video? Speak. <laughs> oh, good girl. Okay, gang. Timer just went off. We're gonna check and see where we're at and uh, come right back to you. So we're at the 40 minute mark. Cocktail's empty. Hopefully we got an egg bake. Oh, we're close. Okay, here's where we're at at the 40 minute mark. I like to give these a little shake to make sure that nothing moves. If nothing moves, it's already set. I like to see the edges just a little bit more golden. So I'm gonna let this go about four more minutes and we'll recheck. All right, there's the timer going off. So it's been 44 minutes. We should be good to go now. Open up the oven, check her out. I think we're good to go. That looks beautiful. It's gonna be awesome. All right, moment of truth, we try it out. Um, I usually cut mine right down the middle and then depending on how big of a serving size I want, a lot of times I'll do 10 total servings, which may be a little bit big for what you want to do. It's a nice size serving, but anyway. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yum. All right. So, got our egg bake. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock at night. I don't care. I've had a cocktail. I'm watching a good game. I'm a little bit hungry. I'm always a little bit hungry, so try it out. Red Hot, not a sponsor, but they could be if you know anybody. A little Red Hot on there. Oh, and that's just, it's just perfectly cooked. It's awesome. So good. All right. Mmm. awesome the um, the sausage mushroom onion it all comes out it's not overly salty 
it's you can't really even identify all the seasons there and it's just good it's just all good highly recommend try it out your christmas or whenever we do this thing all year long um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel uh, give us some love we'll put more content out thanks a lot merry christmas and uh, hope to see you again soon